Electronics is intimidating to a lot of students, even good students. And um, what Nick does, he really goes out of his way to be creative by designing digital material that would make the complex topics easy for them to understand. I just thought about how can I use these technologies to um, do the same stuff that I do in the classroom, but do it in a way that's more engaging to students and that really keeps their interest better and gets them more actively involved. We've got all this equipment, and the equipment involves turning knobs and pushing buttons and stuff like that. And so if I can design a program that simulates the knobs and the buttons and so forth, then you know I ought to be able to, to capture the, the way the thing works in a, in a program. So there's the interactivity that gets them active as opposed to a more passive style where they're just sitting there. By using the online stuff, students can proceed at their own pace. And that, frankly, that means some of them are going to get done earlier and they, and they might be leaving early, but that's fine by me as long as they've accomplished all the goals. He's got everything so organized that you can work at your own pace. You come to class, he'll go over the material, the methods he uses. It, it's set up to where you do understand it and if there's something you had a problem with, you can go right back to the um, lessons online, pull them up and find what you missed. I was used to using um, lab manuals that, that uh, students would buy from publishers and there's two drawbacks to the, to the lab manuals from publishers. One is that they're really expensive. They add a lot to the, to the cost of students' textbooks. And the other one is that they're not tailored to the specific equipment that we have in our labs. Particularly with beginning students, I think it's very important to have them learning from a book that teaches them the specific piece of equipment that we've got here in our labs. And so that was a big, uh, I found that to be a big help when I went from using those publisher's uh, manuals to manuals that I had written myself, what I call instrument-specific manuals, that, that tell them step-by-step step how to use the equipment that we've got here. Everybody's more active in the class. Um, you learn better. You can tell that everybody kind of picks up on all of the material a lot better than what we would if we didn't have that kind of stuff. I think what, what Nick has done has impacted not only his classrooms, but the whole the entire electronics engineering technology department. And I would even go one step further and would say to you that I have seen the result of his work being used in other areas outside electronics in the science, mathematics, and engineering.